James, bitch. Crazy mother. And now a word from our sponsors. So hey guys, today I'm in my work clothes in the studio and the reason being is we're going to be replacing the horns in our EV uh, ELX 115s and these are the unpowered version but uh, it's the same method as replacing your horns in your powered version. But anyhow, um, yeah, so we were uh, getting ready to practice the other day and I, um, for a show we were doing in Hawaii and, uh, and I didn't look at all the mutes on the board and I had one just peeked out uh, just because the board was been sitting around and someone played with the knobs and I hit the unmute, squealed so loud, popped the highs out in both of the speakers so I had to get a set of these and uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get them at but um, they're not too bad, it's like, it, I think it was like 60 bucks for both it's not too bad, but really easy to replace. And it, I, it was the first time I had to replace the highs in these, so it's, you know, and that was my, completely my fault. But, um, yeah, so we got a bunch of shows we're about ready to start doing, a bunch of other things, so I need to get them back up and working so we can start practicing again. We got, uh, we got our new uh, Fans of Jimmy Century, the, our new album coming out, a full-length album and not just a, uh, a single like we've been releasing, and it's called, um, it's called Essentials, not Essentials. But it's sensuals. I didn't name this, Alicia did, so if it sounds, you know, femme, that would be Alicia. So fans of me century essentials. But it's 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 gonna be a good album. It's gonna have all of our singles on there, um, you know, uh, Best of My Generation and, and Ice Queens and Ice Queens. Ice Queens is doing great on Spotify right now. It's actually doing really well on Spotify right now, and I don't know why that why that is, but well I do though, because I'm amazing. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, but we're actually, so we're going to do a whole uh, YouTube series on Ice Queens. So you want to make sure you kind of keep coming back to the YouTube channel and checking out that. And it's, it's, a, it's a funny series. It's a mockumentary type of like best in show type thing. Um, not a me sitting here fixing speakers type thing. It'll be with girls and they're talking smack and, you know, and doing weird things to each other. And that kind of stuff. Anyhow, so we're going to get on to replacing these. So I'm going to show you how we, how we do it. Uh, it's going to be cool. Oh, also, we have, a, we have this really cool Porn Wave album. Uh, we call it Porn Wave because it's like a 70s Porn Wave. We're taking mashups of old 70s uh, funk uh, songs and mashing them with newer songs or even like, you know, just songs that we thought were cool like in the 80s and that kind of stuff. Like, uh, like we have a, a, a Wham! song that we mashed up an old 70s funk song and made it a complete Porn Wave and that song will be coming out pretty quick. So you want to make sure you check those out because it's they're going to be fun, and uh, yeah, but anyway, back to this, I'm going to show you how to get in here and, and replace these, and these are the new drivers we're putting in, um, right here, and like I said, they're about 30 bucks each, so about 60 bucks for the set, and uh, and I will put a link in the description right there, you can see the new drivers, and they already, they're already, these ones are already placed inside the the plastic cabinet so you don't got to actually take off the plastic cabinet and then put the driver inside it and do all that you just got to pop these back in with the back of the horn bolt them on and you should be good to go so let's get to work show you how it's done all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay these the, the EVs on their back and uh, the screens if you if unless you've replaced them they're actually put on by allen wrenches and I have no idea what size the allen wrenches is I just went to my allen wrench drawer and found the allen wrench that fits so I'd say just go to Harbor Freight and for like five bucks you can buy yourself a set of allen wrenches and uh, there's r regular standard allen wrenches just don't know what size it is but it's not very big you can see my thumb <laughs> anyhow and we got to take these screens off because they did not put them on with Phillips, which I was hoping because I could have just used the drill and got them off quick. So I'll go through this fairly quickly and get these out. Alright, so got those out. Now we can pull the screen off. Get to the horn. Now we have screws. I have my little handy dandy drill gun. Take these out. Now you just pull this out like that. And you will see 
your horn there and then you'll have you want to look and make sure you, you see which side is the yellow which side is the, the black or yellow and black so when you put it back on you'll know so on the back of these you have your plus and your minus so you can, I don't know if you can see that but there's a little tiny plus indentation and a minus indentation so let's look on here and see which ones are pluses and the old drivers you can see that this is minus blacks minus yellow is plus so then you just pull these little bastards off without breaking the wires let's see if that's possible <laughs> Then you need Allen wrenches to pull these out, so that's good. You went to Harbor Freight and bought those Allen wrench sets because there's not the same size Allen wrench, it's a little bigger. So let's go find that. <laughs> and luckily, I have that size, which again, I have no idea what it is. I grabbed that out of my Allen wrench box. Move this over. All right, got those all undone. Just pop right out and loosen this up a little more. That one. Give it a nice blow. Wow, smell that burnt. So yeah, you can see this one's all completely burnt out. See how it's black and This is actually what it should look like. Nice copper look. It's all black. There's a little bit of copper on this side, but most of it's black. You can see where it popped right there. It smells roasted. When you put these back on, you can see the little hole, uh, how the, the ridges right here. This has got to go inside these ridges right here. So we're going to blow this out one more time. Just nice and clean. And this has got to line up with these ridges. But the best way to do that is not to try to look down here and see if we can get them in the ridges, is to line up these screw holes. So if you look up at the very top, you can see the screw holes are just gently let it kind of just fall on there, not fall, but you know, drop on there. Don't push at all. Just let it fall on there and line up till you see the screw holes. And then it'll go right in. And it doesn't take any pressure because you don't want to you don't want to bend those copper wires and just put these in back in place when you tighten these up you know tighten them tighten one up a little bit get the threads kind of going and then and don't tighten it all the way up and just get the next one going on the far side of it. Get the threads kind of going on that one. Don't tighten it up all the way yet. Have to get all the threads in then you can go around. That way make sure that driver is lined up right. Okay, now that the driver is lined up right we can go through and tighten them up. Good. All right, that's in there nice and tight. Now before, remember the, the red was the positive, or the yellow is the positive, black is the negative. So we got positive going to yellow. And that. If we got them there a little bit loose, you'll have to get a pair of little needle nose pliers and clamp them down. These new horns, um, these things are a little bit loose, so what we're going to do is we'll put that on there, and then I got a set of these cheap little wire strippers with um, clamps on the end. Take them there and just kind of pinch this down. When you clamp these down and mess these up, and you have to change them again, you can get these little ends over at Fry's or any electronic shop, pretty cheap. But 
are pretty loose right now, so we're just going to take that clamp down. Yeah, that's good. Put that back in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple screws in to the horn, just so I can plug it in and test it before I put it all back together. So in case i got to pull it all back apart again, I don't have to deal with it. Alright, so we have it plugged in to the mixer, the mixer plugged into the power amp, the microphone, and now we're going to slightly, with the power amp turned all the way down, and we're going to turn the mic on, and we're going to start checking, see if we have a high. Chick, 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 one, two, hey, chick, 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 yep, got our highs back, chick, chick, chick. Chick, 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 one, two, 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 chick. Sounds good. It's probably going to feed back a little bit when I walk out here. Chick, chick, one, two. All right, so we're going to run some music through it. Do what it sounds like. It's probably going to be distorted on the mic, but we're not going to care about that. I'll tell you if it sounds good or not. <laughs> So I got all the drivers changed out, the horn drivers in both cabinets, they sound great, um, they work great, and these, like I said, these are aftermarket uh, drivers I put in, they're not actually EVs, they're cheaper, but they sound exactly the same, they sound great to me. These are the EV ELX uh, 115s, and also you can do the same thing in the ELX 115P. So, uh, you know, if you like this video, make sure you like it, comment, subscribe and click subscribe and also hit the little bell and uh, we're not most of this time on this channel we're not doing how-to uh, videos most of the time we have a little fun or music videos or something like that but anyway hit the little bell and you'll see the other videos we do that when they come up but yeah, that's how to repair a, uh, a horn in your EV speakers talk to you next time I'm Big James bitch